who have we got here? Hi, my name is Donna Sands. I am uh, an artist in caustic and also oil paintings. And where are we? We are at the Antioch Fine Art League Gallery in Antioch. And I am here with Ted Foss, who is filming me at this point, And we have a joint show together. Great. And uh, uh, tell us exactly, uh, tell us a little bit of your history. Wow. Um, I actually started in advertising many years ago, and uh, um, when my late husband was diagnosed with two years to live, I closed the door, and we went through the time um, that we had together, and then after that, I started doing more painting. Um, my paintings started on Washington Island with the plein air group of people, led by Roger Bechtold, and it was just so joyful. A yeah. wonderful experience. How, how many years did, did you do that and what were you painting? Landscapes. And I still do landscapes. Um, whenever I'm out in the woods somewhere or someplace um, quiet, I always have paints with me and I will do a painting. And um, the joy of feeling the sun on my face, wind in my back, it was, it's yeah, delightful. It's, it's fun, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? I'd much rather be outside than inside behind oh, a yeah. desk. Yeah. So, uh, but then you switched a little bit. Yes. Um, in caustics, I'm trying to remember how, I think I took a workshop working with encaustics, and it was just so much fun. I tried to figure out a way not doing the hot process because you're constantly breathing the fumes of it, and I use Dorland's um, cold wax, and I mix it with my paint, and then I go outside and use a paint strippy gun, and I fuse all the colors and wax together. That's good. Are you only doing abstracts with that process? <gasps> Pretty much so. I have done some landscapes, um, some figurative work, and um, but I really do enjoy the landscape, especially water. Um, I think it really tends to work with the medium where you can make it flow more. And so that's my favorite subject. Good. And you're not a resident of Illinois, are you? No, I have moved up to Wisconsin where I started my plein air painting. I'm not on Washington Island, but I am in the state of Wisconsin. Yeah, and, and do you? I know you have a place up north too. Yes, up in Boulder Junction. And so I do a lot of work up there now because I'm up there for four months out of the year. That must be more. great to be able to do landscapes up there. It's beautiful. It really is nice. Yes. Are you near a lake? Or right on a lake? Yes. Oh, great. Well, that, it's always open for uh, videographers up there, right? It is. Oh, when are you okay. coming? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, well, you know what, maybe we can go uh, and look at a couple of your uh, pieces of your work. Okay. Okay. So, what have we got here? Um, these are my encaustic pieces. Um, I've been doing them now probably for over 15 years. Um, this is my first body, my ser first series, and that was looking down onto ponds and water. This one being a pond with the clouds and the reflect, reflecting in the pond and all the, the growth that grows right underneath the surface of ponds. And this is looking through rain. And, oh, yeah. And, I can, yeah. Yes, so these are more on a cloudy um, day and looking down again also. Um, I love the way that they tend... I can push them to being more abstract, which is my goal at this point. I started out very tight, um, even doing some figurative work um, with my encaustics, and I like the freedom, and yeah. I like the movement of it, and I like some of the happy surprises I get as this wax just flows along the surface. Oh, great. And then let me get a little bit better uh, image close up of this, and th now th the one in the upper right. What what was that? The upper about? right. That's um, inspired by Monet's pond um, in the Givarnies in, uh, in in France, and it's just looking down, straight down to the reflections 
in the water at the same time, the undergrowth coming up from the water. Yeah, here on, on this one. Um, this one, this one, and the other purple green one are my latest pieces. They were done this fall up um, up way north um, near a lake, and it's the sunset with the green part is the darkness of water, ah. and this is the very dark clouds um, right. as there's no light <laughs> coming through, not very much. Um, I t I'm trying to go a little bit more abstract with my work, and I think that I am very pleased with the results and will probably be continuing another series in this form. Okay, well, I'm going to go and take a video of the other two pieces you were talking about. It. God, good. Okay, very good, and then we'll go up here. And can zoom up. And then we'll. Okay. Yeah, that's really nice. It's so colorful. But not pretty. And I'm going to tell you why not pretty because my, my daughter saw something of mine and she said it's pretty. And I told my wife, you never want anybody, any artist, to be told their stuff is pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting is bad enough. Yeah. <laughs> I hear Donna. This is a small piece I did up at uh, the summer cabin we have on Boulder Lake. Um, again, the sun is about to set. I like that time of day. I like also sunrise, but I don't get up that often for it anymore. Uh, so I've been focusing more on the sunset. On the golden light. Yes. Um, golden hour. The beautiful the beautiful cloud color and the purple sky with the sun going down over this bank of trees and then this is Boulder Lake, the reflection of it in the lake. And it's a triptych. It is a triptych. So, very good. I hope we're able to pick up the beautiful colors. Okay. Yeah, what have we got here? This piece is called Flow. Um, with my encaustics, I love doing water and atmosphere because it's constantly moving and being able to create the movement on the surface um, using the paint stripping gun and moving the medium around um, is really very exciting to me. Um, sometimes the results, I may have to scrape it off, but most of the time I do um, embrace the finished image. And um, this is this was part of a series of three, and it was an orange rowboat. As the mist comes in, it was slowly being consumed by a changing form and shape, and this one being the third and final transformation. Very good. And what what have we got here? This What's is through the mist. Again, it's a piece um, utilizing water, air and a rowboat, the rowboat being the magenta purple color. And um, looking down at it uh, with the various warm and cool colors that begin to surround and take over the shape. There we Your go, mask. here we are. Okay. Don't breathe, we can't breathe on each other. No. <laughs> so, okay, she's the instigator. I would never have done this without her. I'm not sure if I love her or hate her. Oh, he did a <laughs> wonderful job. Incredible creative pieces. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>
maybe even earlier, Donna Sands and I were getting together, and I was complaining that I could not possibly uh, do abstracts. That the, as an ex-photographer and videographer, I thought really in, in realism. And she said she would cure that. And I said, how? <laughs> and she said, that's easy. We'll just sign up for a show in November, so you better get to work. Well, it took me a while, actually, uh, which is a... So I did a lot of work on the internet, and I did a lot of work on a program called Canopy from the library. And I looked at so many abstract artists. My whole idea was, A, I didn't want to smush up or uh, manipulate with Photoshop. I wanted it to come from here. And that the second thing is I did not want to copy anybody's work, uh, which is really hard in abstracts when you're learning because you're looking at everybody's work. So I went through so many uh, uh, professional artists, great artists, abstract artists, and I was finally able to do all this work by myself from my head to the canvas and not via... Uh, uh, Photoshop or the camera. So, maybe you'd like to see a little of my work. Sure thing. Right here. And so, tell us about the image. Okay, this is a, what, actually I said I didn't do a, uh, a job on uh, um, photography, but this is a montage of images. Uh, that I took, I actually, uh, Doug and I, my son, went up to uh, Door County and I saw somebody that did montages and I thought, gee, I'd really like to do that. So this has to be, oh, maybe layer three or four, maybe five or six images together. And uh, until you like it, uh, you keep on fooling around and I, I really do like it. And I forgot what I called it. Oh, here it is. It's called In the Beginning, Six Million Years. Okay, so, uh, and, uh, so, shall we go on to the next one? Okay, and this next one, again, I guess I must have lied twice, because this is inside the volcano in uh, Maui. And it turned out to be an abstract, but I did not manipulate this to be an abstract. It is part of my program called Nature's Abstracts. And uh, so uh, actually it was very, 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 very cold that day because I, I, it, people from Maui always say, bring a coat if you're going up to the volcano. Nobody ever pays much attention. I was up there in Bermuda shorts and, uh, and a t-shirt, and when that sun started going down, and this is in the evening, it, the temperature must have dropped by 30 degrees. So I'm lucky I didn't shake the camera uh, so much because I was shivering. So uh, then we can go on to actually what the show is about. Uh, this is called uh, Foss Pond, and it's our pond outside our house. I looked at it one day, and I finally started to see an abstract. After all this time, I started to see an abstract. And uh, so uh, this, this is uh, almost all of this stuff is done in acrylics. And then going down here, uh, this is looking outside my door, my screen door, and uh, again, this is looking at Foss Pond in the evening. So uh, I, I really like this one, and, and several people like this one too. So this one is called 2020. Down here is, can you see it? Down here is my first abstract, pretty crazy. I still like it but it's pretty crazy. This is an abstract that I painted really years ago 
I, I didn't really realize that I, in those days, that I was going to do it. But uh, this is from, uh, uh, from Yellowstone. And this I called four billion years ago uh, when life first started. And everybody sees, even though I didn't mean it to be, everybody sees an alligator or a beast coming over here. So, And uh, this is one of my latest ones, uh, probably next to the last ones, when I was just plain having fun. So uh, it's, uh, it was fun doing that. And I started to grasp the idea of abstracts. So what else do we have? Well, we have uh, this one uh, called The Incredible Turmoil of the Female Mind. And uh, it's not meant actually as an editorial. <laughs> it's meant to see the complexity of a woman's mind. Now, down here, it could be, uh, here, maybe you can see it better. Uh, this is actually called, my kids could have done that. But it also could have been called, underneath the turmoil of the woman's mind, the, the uh, mind of the man. St simple, straightforward, and uh, so uh, anyway, those are the two. Of course, on the side here, we can see Donna's I think we can see Donna's work also, which is absolutely beautiful. And what we have here? Oh, well, these are a bunch of, this is when I first started. And there are a bunch of uh, things that I just was experimenting with. Uh, it's really hard to look at a blank canvas without any idea that you don't see a landscape, you don't see a portrait, you don't see anything. You have to start somewhere. And this is one of my first ones that I've done. <laughs> this is another one uh, called White Mountain. Uh, this one came from Yellowstone, and I, it's a painting. This one I just, I think this is the second one I ever did. Then, all of a sudden, I started doing kind of light work instead of heavy, heavy work, and I started I believe this is the first one that I've ever done this way. And that is, I started painting on a wet canvas and everything started to drain down and, uh, or, or drip down. And so I thought it was ruined. Uh, I stopped it. Then I showed it to a number of people and they said, turn it upside down. I did, and it looked like a forest. So I did another one, almost the same, not quite, but it was another, uh, a, these are another uh, other drip. So uh, uh, then I went into the uh, larger ones and did the same thing. And finally, we have these. These are the last three, right. And actually, these are all done by that method. Because then all of a sudden I, I decided, okay, we'll, we'll do some big ones. Now this may be hard to see on video because it's so light, but it doesn't have, uh, abstracts don't have to be bright and contrasty. They can be subtle and beautiful. And I think that this uh, is subtle and, and I hope beautiful. Again, now you can see that I was doing a little bit more realism in the front, and I, I'm really uh, kind of like looking at my pond pictures in a way, but and this looks like a forest in the background. And finally, this is another subtle, I think kind of nice. It, it would fit in to other people's uh, pictures, and uh, so, I guess you got everything, and uh, I uh, 
I hope you enjoy the show. <laughs>